Let's see. What do we got going on? Oh, I got my reset on my bazaar. Demon spawn. Four star ring. Gross. All right, I think we can go ahead and jump into the live arena recordings. Let me just set my timer for 24 hours to remind me to check that. Cool. Oh, shoot. I just realized. Hold on. Let me do a, a 3v3 fight real quick. I keep forgetting I have this. Um, I have this mission to... put speed on myself like a hundred times or whatever in 3v3 what's up Zal thank you to set that up. Let's see. How many times do I need to do that? Place 100 increased speed buffs. How did I get it up eight times already? That's weird. Not playing live arena tonight. If you see me in chat, it's because I'm not doing live arena. <laughs> no worries. All right. Let's jump into it. Give me a second. I guess with the recording. Hello, hello. Biohack here with another live arena video. Let's see. What's new? I finished the Artifact Enhancement event. Did I talk about that? Maybe I talked about that yesterday. Finished the Artifact Enhancement event. Finished the Iron Twins event. So now we're moving along with the Marius missions. I actually am excited to get Marius. I think he could be kind of interesting in live arena. I mean, that three hitter with a chance to remove a buff on every hit, or not a chance, but decrease the duration of a buff on every hit. It gives you pretty good odds of removing like a one turn stone skin from enemies. So it could be kind of good. He could also be potentially interesting to counter, not counter Armands, but there could be some play there since every time you try and decrease turn meter, he counter attacks with the A1, puts up that enfeeble. So he's an interesting champion. Plus he's really good in PVE. So I don't know. I'm kind of interested in picking him up and trying him out. So we're working on this. The big one is I'm going to have to obtain five mythicals from any dungeon before tomorrow. That's probably doable, so we'll work on that. And anything else? I've been messing around a little bit with optimizing gear in the optimizer since we picked up that protection glove I rolled yesterday, or a couple days ago, whenever it was. This one here with the, oh, you can't see it. Oh, you can see the important part, the triple speed. So this actually is the new best glove for my best Kaja build to maximize both speed and survivability which is kind of interesting. So we could end up replacing this one, putting this one on Armand's, which would get him his triple speed glove and then put this on the Kaja. But it also gets paired with this other shield that I won recently. Or not run one, but crafted recently. This one here, which is pretty solid. Oops. Move the camera. What? Come on, camera. There we go. You can see that. We got triple speed on that with defense and resistance. Not too bad. So, yeah. Problem is, I need glyphs. I need glyphs so badly. I've got one glyph right now. And it's just, man, six-star speed glyphs are, are always a big shortage. It's kind of a bummer. But anyway, we'll worry about that during the next free regearing event, probably. And we'll just see how it goes until then. I think I'm just going to go ahead and jump into these fights. I had a really rough night last night i lost like so many battles in a row so we're kind of low on the rankings 57 35 but we'll see what we can do really want to get up to 5800 but by the time i get it, get there the people who are at 5800 now will probably be you know 59 <laughs> so then it's it, every ranking around 65 is, has been a struggle i haven't really been able to get much higher than 65 yet i've tapped into like 62 or 63 like once or twice but Oh, the other thing I want to do is start tracking my win rate when I go first versus go second, because I feel like um, go first is 
just been given a massive advantage advantage not go first as in champions go first but pick first um oh yeah there you go dark Soul said that we were talking about that in discord count your win loss when you go first or second yeah <clears throat> i want to start tracking that just to see what the numbers look like we'll have to get a few hundred battles in or something to actually see what happens but yeah it's it feels it feels like going first is just such a huge advantage these days maybe i shouldn't say go first i should say pick first picking first since we have other terminology that says go first do 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 well hopefully the cues aren't going to be too bad I haven't had to cut a cue out of one of these videos in so long. Big Gun J. I don't know if they've tweaked the algorithm or maybe it's just that there's a lot more people in gold four now because back when I first hit gold four, I think it was like top 200 when I hit gold four, which means there was hardly anyone else in there. Now I think there's a lot, so it's getting a lot of fights. So this guy runs Taro, Taurus, Rodos, Marichka, Duchess, Necrit. Um, my notes think it's a bot, but I don't know if that's true. Um, okay, we're gonna run a lockout. I don't wanna set the spreadsheet up. I'm at 4969 and I'm ranked 250, so I assume there's probably 500 plus in gold now. Uh, okay, this is a kind of interesting one with the Necrit pick. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to go Arbiter. I meant to go Warlord. Um... Just making my spreadsheet wasn't paying attention. Hopefully this isn't a stone skin. Georgian. It's not. It's a super weird play. Yeah, that's the whole, this is a bot <laughs> vibe I get. Like, even the abilities it's using make no sense, right? Like, why would you use the, the Harima strengthen when I have Narcis? Save that. I want the yeah. I want the Duchess to go before the Narcy so that we can nuke. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have popped the shield off. Oh well, whatever. It's not like we can really lose this fight. I should have killed the Harima instead, but whatever. Do 
Definitely drag this out longer than I needed to. Oh, well, maybe this will finish him off. There we go. All right, cool. Counting that as a win, even though... It was bot. Oh my god, it's the bot again. Definitely a bot, but what can you expect? I wonder if I pick the exact same champions, if it'll pick the same stuff. Well, I'm picking first this time, so that's going to cancel out the uh, the win-loss ratio with the bot. Assuming we win. Should I go someone other than... Narcis? Or not Narcis, other than um, Staltus. Sure. Ron is decent, yeah. But I, I don't think this is a real player. So I'm not like really worried about like actually picking the counter. I'm picking about like what's gonna make the fight easier versus the bot. But Rhonda is I think good pick because we can um, block the passive on the Harima and stuff to make the fight a little faster. That was what I was afraid of. Yeah, it's in reaction. That was one of the other reasons why we bought brought the Ronda. But he might end up killing the Ronda. Okay, come on. Now oh, we should save the AoE on the Rhonda in case it gets the revive. doing on the leaderboards Get some free points that way we need 20 more points to get up to oh wow these guys have fallen a bit 20 more points would get us to 62 
or 63. Stupid stones can't think they added it just to waste their time. Eh. Murder YouTube. Is this actually uh, a YouTuber? It's not Murder Inc., is it? Okay, so. Probably gotta go Georgian. We've got Arma, oops, Narcis, Armands, and Cora. Um, Cora's tough. Oh, shit. I feel like I have to kill the Ancora with the Georgian. This is actually a really tough fight. I'm not entirely sure how we play this one. If there really is a viable way to play this one. I think I needed to go... I think I needed to go... Ah, bummer. If we didn't have stone skin on the... Um, if we didn't have stone skin on the Kaja, I think we'd be okay, but... Or not, uh, not stone skin. Oh, I blew the revive! Not that it would have mattered. Um... See, what could I have done differently? Oh, I needed Quintus. I needed to go Quintus instead of um, Duchess so that after the... Uh, that was a pick second that we lost. Now we got Chuck DL. Gotta make sure I enter that in the spreadsheet. Um, so that after the Ka or the Duchess revive, the Taurus had no health. That's what I needed to do. And then I think I needed to ban the Narcis. Um... I honestly think Okay. What's the play here? If I win the speed race and I ban the Narcis, I kind of win. I think we still ban the Armands. That was a good ban on the Georgian. This is going to be a, a really tough one now.
Oh man, he managed to strip the Xena. Unlucky. Man, the Xena didn't hit hard enough. Feels bad, man. Probably should have gone for the revive there, but oh well. Only one damage or I'm missing something? Um, yeah, there's only one damage. You're missing the fact that Armand's is a, a, a one-man I win button, so you don't actually need to run real nukers because you can just win the game by instantly using Armand's. With three supports, or with all supports. That's how freaking broken that champion is when you can literally win the game without nukers because Armand's by himself can single-handedly win you the fight. That's the current state of arena we're in. It's absolute horseshit. Oh, that's a bummer. I got the turn meter boost and I still didn't go. Wow. Oh, we got the cooldown from the Narcis. Bummer. Yeah, the Georgian ban from him was pretty smart. I didn't even consider it, to be honest. Pretty confident we wouldn't have lost that if I went reverse, though. Armaz is nuts. I just pulled him on my alt account. Was going for Harima Seeker. Just wanted to provoke for Hydra on that account. Yeah, he's the one. Of, he's probably the dumbest thing Plarium ever did. Let's be honest. He, he's the most broken champion they've ever put in the game, and that includes Taurus and Marichka. He's a single man, like I win button. The only way he doesn't win if he gets a turn is if he gets polymorphed. God, we've picked we've picked second four out of five fights. So if we can beat this guy, even despite the fact that we're picking second. Uh, scary ones are the Mega Krakens who don't bother picking Armands because they have plus four Crixia Star Stage. They don't care if you go lockout. They ban them if you auto lose. I don't know any Krakens other than the bots who don't first pick Armands. Doc Moreau, when he fought me, first picked Armands. This is a guy who has everything, all the champions, and he picked his five-star base level Armands over any other champion in the game when he picked first. There is no champion better than Armand's. No Mythical, not Galathir, not Crixia, no one. Armand's is the strongest champion in the game. You let him take a turn and you lose, unless you get Polymorph. You straight up lose. I've had, I've literally had many fights where I've killed all their nukers. They don't have any revive. I'm sitting here with Arbiter at 400 speed, Warlord at 390 speed, Kaja at 455 speed, and a Nuker at, you know, 300 speed. And I never get to take a single turn 
with Armands on the, the on the enemy team. There's just it's it's a complete joke. Do I want to run fully against this guy? We could also bomb. I faced a bunch you don't go first pick Armands? Really? Um You could ban the Nishak, it wouldn't be the worst. First pick plus four CP. Seems crazy. I still would pick Armands even with plus four CP. Because he's, he's an auto ban, right? Like he basically locks in the ban slot. You kind of have to ban him. I mean, maybe if I had like a 430 speed Crixia or something. So the idea behind this strat is um, by decreasing the attack on the Lazarius, we can just tank it. That was a go second pick win, right? I think so. The thought process they know I'll pick Armand, so it limits my other choices. And if I don't take it, they'll s second rotation. Uh, murder. What did murder run again? He ran Narcis, Taurus, Armands, and Cora Duchess, but we get the Armands this time. So let's see how this fight goes now that we don't have to ban the Armands. Could eat the polymorph on the Taurus, which could be a problem. Ooh, Siegfriend. I was not expecting the Siegfriend. Big question here is going to be, do we have enough damage to kill Narcis without... Nope. Uh, that's probably game. If we didn't run into reaction, we might have been okay. I 
so fucking hate that I got s my fastest gear is uh, is divine life I, or divine speed. I might legit have to take divine speed off Kaja and just make her slower. It's just so bad for Narcissus because you saw that fight, right? You saw that fight that Narcissus wouldn't have done anything close to killing Kaja if he didn't get the double proc. How much do I lose? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I'd probably have to downgrade from a quad to a triple, so probably like six or seven speed. It's probably worth it. Actually, I could look. Let me, um... I'm gonna... I think I need to do that. I just lose so many fights. Because I rely on lockout to get turns. Um... Who's the play here? Six to seven speed is definitely worth it to not have shield. Yeah. I think I think I need to do it. I could then put it on um, Warlord. Actually, Warlord already has a quad speed helmet. I could put it on Armands or Kaja or uh, Ar Arbiter. Um, Nishak or Shazar? Shazar. He does more damage. Uh, we want to ban divine speed. Yeah, that's definitely worth it. I should just, I'll do that. And then I can put it on Arbiter, especially since my Kaja's going to win the speed races anyway. And the ones that are usually a challenge, people um, beautiful. want to make sure that uh, Narcy's actually dies because he's pretty tanky and Shazar's bombs don't hit the hardest. Shazar coming in hot. Hell yeah. Dude, he's, he gets me wins, man. He gets me wins. Sometimes you just gotta pray. Um... Because there's, like, really no way for me to deal with a Stoneskin Siegfried and a UDK and an Armands. And like, there's just, there's literally no way to do it other than bombs. If I had Harima, I could maybe try and tank it with Harima. But with, um, since I don't have Harima, like... That's pretty much all she wrote. Because you can't Georgia kill a stone. Well, you can't. Yeah, you can't Georgia kill a stone skin seek friend anyway. That's what makes him so good. I'm surprised more people don't build him in stone skin. I see a lot of people like just rely on his passive. And it's like, if you shut the ability to deal with his passive down, he's impossible. Um, that guy's Armands is in stone skin, so let me make a note of that. Uh, 
All right, Gestel, how are we doing this? We're not going to let him have Narcees. We can't let him have Narcees. I don't have any bomb chance. I do have Harima, though. Just like using Shazar, if he bans my other damage dealers, Shazar is completely useless. Well, I mean, yeah, kind of. But in that fight, it wouldn't have been the end of the world. Like, I would have won that fight with just Shazar because I would have locked him out with Warlord. And then everyone except for... Actually, everyone would have died to Shazar's bombs if Narcy's didn't die to the bombs because the bombs hit for like 90,000 health or 80,000 health, 80 to 90,000. And so a Narcy's typically will survive that. But he, w he was a little bit low on health from the actual damage. So I think he would have died anyway. But if he didn't die, he still would have been locked out and had nothing. You know, and it would have been my Shazar versus his... Or my whole team with Shazar versus his Narcy's. And I still would have won. All right, Gessel. I see how it is. Let's see... Who... What other nu nuker is he going to pick? He's going to go Harima... I think Gessel's Armand's is in stone skin. I'm not actually sure. I don't really see how I win this, to be honest. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so the one saving grace is that we can guarantee that we're going to go first. Oh, shoot. He could ban my Kaja. I don't know who's faster, my Warlord or his Armands. Shoot, I wasn't thinking. I should have banned the Armands. <laughs> Is he ban Kaja? No, he bans Georgian. Very interesting. Okay. So he might his um I didn't know he pulled that. Uh, what's his name? Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, my Armand's build, or my Narcy's build just isn't good enough at the moment. I see him a ton now. Yeah, Gizmax's pretty good. Well played. Definitely another loss that's 100% the product of going second, or picking second. It's not because the Armands was, like, so powerful, but it's because it... I couldn't ban, or I couldn't... Um, that's the right way to say it. Like, I couldn't play the way I wanted to play because of the Armands.
Also, just my Narcy's build. This is rough. I need so much. I need to improve it so much. You should be able to kill someone with the A2. Mad Walker, let me take Armand's first for him. He has everyone plus four CP and Crixia, CP Harima. That Polyon Ronda. Yeah, that's true. The Polyon Ronda. I don't know if it would have made a difference. The Narcis just didn't hit hard enough to kill the um, Gizmak. And that's just because I don't have any oil on his gear. I don't have a plus four. I don't have... Um, I don't have, what's it called? Namno. What's this guy running in? He runs a lot of stuff to try and go first, including a Hegemon. Oh, Galathir, that's new. I shouldn't say I can't win it. I can win it. It just depends on how he picks, which was not super intelligent. Um, okay, we are shut down by the bombs on... No, we can't win this. I think... I think I have to go Shazar. Ugh, I'm screwed. He's going to ban... He's going to ban, um, Georgia. Do you find Jetney useful? I used to use Jetney quite a bit. I liked her against Harima teams. I liked her against, um, Necrit teams when I had, would run with, what's his name? Um, Uh, choo -choo 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 -choo. Shit, she's gonna sleep the Armands. God, if only the um if only the arm or the Kaja had gone before the 
Armands. I mean, this can kill the Lazarius. She should have one more turn on the cleanse, right? Yeah. Okay. save that Did get the Armands poly or um, what's it called? I think we just do this instead of bombing. Yeah. Okay. That's Armands for you. Wild. I can't believe we won that. Armands OP. We did. We we effectively didn't even have a nuker. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. He's just like you pick him and you win. It's insane. It's so dumb. This guy's still here. All right, so there's another win is go first. Only Shazar. He banned my Georgian, but he left Armands in the fight. So, of course, his entire team got CC'd the entire time none of his nukers ever got to take a turn and then his reviver also never got to take a turn because this game is balanced you know this uh, Mithrala literally cannot kill Kaja, right? I don't know why you're staying in this fight. It's impossible for you to win. Kaja alone. Oh my god, dude. What an asshole. Just fucking leave. Like, I realize the game is bullshit, but I didn't put the champion in the fucking game. Blame Plarium, not me. You chose to leave him in instead of banning him. You also run in fucking Galathir and a plus four Seafy, so you know what? You spend that much money on the game, you shouldn't even be here. You should be winning some fucking fights.
I actually don't know what hits harder. Shazar's A3 or is A1? That was a plus four CP, right? Oh, I can't see. I hate how they don't let you see the bless. Like, why don't they let you see the blessings and everything else? So, so annoying. But yeah, we effectively had no nuker in that fight since Chazar put his bombs up. Or we didn't even put his bombs up until... I guess we did put his bombs up. Maybe it's not fair to say yeah, we had no nuker. Because I did kill the Lazarius with the Shazar eventually. Although we probably would have killed him regardless. But yeah, wild. Okay, this guy likes to run. I've only fought him once, I think. He ran crew tracks, Aranda, Arbiter, and Korra, Yumiko. It was plus four. Yeah, I thought it was plus four. Um, I kind of don't want him to take Arbiter. So I'm going to do that. Interesting. Blood gorged. He does have. Um... Well, no, I, th I think. I don't know. I guess he could still try and go for us. He could throw his shoes in out. I assume Blood Gorge is going to be in Stone Skin. I'll wait for the full timer through the whole fight, but if they just pick stall crap, they want to be there all day. Okay, great. I'll waste your time. Fatalis. Good old Fatalis. Okay, ban the Armons. Fatalis is very weak to Wukong for a couple of reasons. One of them being that the Wukong doesn't crit when he uses his A2. So even though the Fatalis couldn't be crit, when I killed the Seafy, it spread the damage and killed the Fatalis regardless. Um, and then Wukong can also put the block debuffs up on the Fatalis. And that effectively will prevent the shield from getting put up, which also shuts down his passive. So that's why we went with Wukong in that fight against the Fatalis. I picked first there, right? Yeah, I did, because I ran Armand's and he banned it. So in 10 battles, we won three of the ones where we picked first and we lost one. Wait, did I miss one? How many wins and how many losses did I get? I got one, two, three... I only have nine battles recorded. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we won six. How many did I pick first in? Shoot, I missed one. Did you ever play Drunk Live Arena? It's fun to top, drop to G3 for a minute, though. I missed one. Whatever, doesn't matter. We won... Yeah, so we... 
We won three. Well, I mean, the sample size is still too small, but it is funny. We won three of the ones we picked first and lost one. We lost three of the ones that we picked second and we won two. So in our very small sample size, we're way ahead in terms of the go pick first picks. But we'll see how that translates over time. Did I? Yeah, I don't remember which one I missed. Could have been the one. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, that's pretty good. I am probably going to do a few more fights on the live stream. But that's going to be it for the YouTube video. I will be back tomorrow. Pretty happy with how we did today. Can't complain. Anytime you get more than 50%, I'm not complaining. So, And I was happy about, like, Shazar. We brought him in. How many fights did we end up bringing him in? I guess just two. But we won both of the ones we brought him in. Can't complain. All right, cool. I'll see you all on YouTube in the next one. Have a good one. Cheers. All right, sweet. That's a recording. I'm going to do some more fights because I feel like it. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I never finished of trying to optimize my Kaja to see how fast I could make her. I can't find the divine speed to exclude it from the search. There it is. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait, that's why. I'm like, why is she so... Let's, I forgot I made it so she couldn't steal gear. <laughs> no, no, no. So we could run her at 455 with no divine speed. Uh, let's see what, what I can do in terms of survivability. Actually, to be honest, we could do we could do a build that's not too bad. I could do a build that's 452 speed with like um, 580 effective HP. Duke Jeff. Maybe I do that in the next free regear event. 452 is still going to win speed race like every time. It's probably going to be a little bit slower than 452. Do I want to pick? Who do I want to pick? I'm going to go Staltus. Known nukers from him are Harima, Ragash, Tormin, Wukong, Cardiel, and Sifi. So Staltus will be really good against the Ragash and the Harima. If he doesn't try and go first, we can throw up a Warlord. Yeah. So we can throw up Warlord and... Do we want Rhonda? We're going to get Lockout. Hey, Kraloris, how you doing? I think we go with Rhonda. What's up, Nathan? How are you? I'm doing well, doing well. Just doing some live arena. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm.
I banned the Duchess because I think the Taurus is a weird pick. He's going to get locked out. And I think if we shut down the Seafy... I'm, well, I just, I don't know. I'm not super... I'm not super worried about... How the hell is the Taurus and the Harima going before me, even though I turn meter boosted? It must be really quick. Get a pushback. Yeah, okay, good. Get the pushback on the Taurus. It's really all just going to come down to whether we get Polymorph right here or not. Did you stream last night? No. Oh, I don't know how to feel about that. Should have one more turn before the revive, right? Um, okay, good. Should be game. There's no way this Taurus can kill us. Oh, actually, you know what? I do only have one reviver, so if he killed the Crix or the Kaja, it could have maybe been a problem. But I think Staltus would be able to. Yeah, I mean, there's no way he would have such a hard time killing Staltus. Because his A3 is basically the only only the A2 is going to do any damage. Like, one-shot levels of damage. Gropa. Uh, let's make sure we put that go first win. That was definitely, we got a huge advantage from going first right there. Okay, this player likes to run, go first, and then bring in the Tormen and the Hegemon to make sure he gets it. So... We're going to run Stoneskin Nukers. He's probably going to go with Rodos. If he, if I go with Wukong, now I need to go with Wukong. He's going to if I run with Narcissus, he's going to pick Wukong. He's going to run Rodos now. Oh, he's going to pick Georgian. Interesting. Okay, that's fine. Bans the Kaja. Smart. But I think... Well, let's see. Let's see if he speed-tuned his... His Georgian. Oh, wait. He can't He can't have speed-tuned the Georgian because we brought Xena in. So he's going to eat Lockout. He's going to eat Lockout. I feel good about this. Ooh, nope, 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 nope. That's not what you wanted to do.
Um, drop the Harima just so that the Wukong can nuke. Oh, bummer. Oh, he just left. Okay. Oh, no, that didn't pop out. He left the fight. That's what was happening. Xena has been winning me some fights lately, man. I'm glad I went for her. I, she's a niche pick. I like basically only use her to counter Sifi and go first fights. But um, she does her job, man. She does her job. That was another I went first win, right? Oh, it's Gestel fight. Gestel wins. GG, good job, Gestel. Well fought. <laughs> uh. Shit's decently hard. Yeah, she does. She's not bad. I don't know what I can do against Gussel. I can't win. I can't win if I go second. Where's my Quintus? Oh, that was surprising. Um, I feel like we just RNG it. Hope for the best. Uh, so Let's go Rotos. I assume he wants to ban my Kaja because he went with the Tormund. Yeah. Okay, that's what I figured. Oh man, the Narcy's three percented me. And we didn't proc the passive. Not that it matters, but actually it does matter. Oh what? I thought he three percented me. Um if we could take out the Nars or the Armands, that would be ideal. That's a bummer. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> um, we're going to take a turn before the torment, which is going to let me get the oh, man. I was going to say, it's going to let me get the... Heal from Warlord up. Yeah. GG Gestel. That was a weird... Weird play. With three nukers.
Is it Rotos and Stone Skin? Yeah. He's four. He's uh, four piece Stone Skin, four piece Lethal. Uh, let me check this player. Constantly strive for self improvement. Okay. I don't think I know this guy. Maybe I shouldn't have done Georgette, actually. I should have gone Staltus. Um, we have to bomb this, right? I mean, I could ban the Galathir. Oh, dude, this is such a tough fight. I don't know what he has. Do I go Quintus? I think Quintus is the safest pick. Because Quintus has the possibility of cutting through Stone Skin. If he picks like a Sieg he can kill a Siegfriend. He could kill, and he can kill anyone else in Stone Skin. And worst case scenario, Quintus could has like a 50-50 shot of killing a Galathir. Yeah, exactly. That's why we did that. Okay, so... How can we play this? What are our options? I think we have to ban the Siegfried. Maybe we'll get lucky and the Galathir won't be in stone skin. Not so lucky. Oh, and the Seafy. Dude, the Seafy, what? Really? I thought Quintus would would cut through the um Galathir passive. Wow, Galathir is so broken. You can't even use ignore passives to cut through his shit? Dude, he's so broken. Prevents this champion's death. Keep him alive on one HP when hit by a fatal hit. Wow. You can't even use a champions that ignore passives to ignore his passive. What the fuck? I didn't, I didn't realize that. I thought you could at least do that. That is insane, man. What a completely broken champion. Did I? Wait, did my Georgid... 
no, my Georgia didn't kill him. My Quintus did. Oh, Jesus, what a joke, man. They just really do not give a shit about the quality of the, and the balance of their game. So this guy runs. CP Crixia Duchess Mithrala. He picked first in that fight, right? I think bombs might if you ignore enough accuracy. Yeah, bombs might. Bombs probably do. Um, who picked first in that fight? I did. I picked Armand's. So we got to not get frozen right here. Usually you need like 800 or 900 to actually land them on him because people run him high res. Yeah. I mean, technically his passive caps out at 500 res. Ooh, oh shit. I didn't realize this Duchess. Um, resisted the Warlord. That is not good. Um, I think we saved the Warlord for the next turn. We're really waiting for this Duchess to revive. She'll hopefully do right now. And then we can slam everyone back down. Oh, really? Even with the turn meter boost, she's still going to go before me? That's unfortunate. Um, She's going to die no matter what, so let's just do this. Oh, we get the cleanse. Nice. We kill. I think we go for the Seafy kill. I'm not sure I could kill the Tormund. His Duchess is a high resist Duchess. It's resisted me in the past. So this will be good to drop right here. That's the first turn that Taurus has taken, I think, right? I maybe should have saved the... Warlord nuke or the Warlord lockout for after. Um, yeah, let's do this right now so we can get the increased defense because I think the Duchess is going to revive and the Tormund is going to come back and we don't want to we don't want to have to deal with that. Oh. Or not. Okay. Beautiful. We got 20 minutes. Uh, sure, we'll keep going. I picked first that fight, right? Yeah. That's why we got Warlord in, because... So right now we're at six wins when I pick first, two losses, 
and then 50-50 when I pick second. Three, three wins, three losses. Which is a total of eight plus six. So I missed two somewhere. I missed recording two. So his Narcissus is in, oh, it's a reaction Narcissus. I pick first this time. God, I hope he doesn't pick a cleanser. <laughs> oh, he went with he went with UDK. Very surprising pick. Warlord's built. Is it built in stone skin? Yeah. But it's too slow. Oh, GG. Forgot about Polymorph. go first loss. Damn sheep. Yeah. It's a bummer. But like a 40% chance of being sheep there. Uh, we also got the counterattack from the um, the Taurus. That was pretty rough because um, because if we didn't get the counterattack, then like the or because the Georgia was going to die. Basically, the Georgia was going to die regardless. Because even if they're weak hitting him, he's still going to die to A1s if he has no health. Finally got my Mithrala Fragment saving to make for CVC. Nice. Surprising. Someone at 4,000 ranking picks Wukong first.
What's up, Mosin? Um... I want Rotos. Yeah. Should we risk it? Oh, I kind of have to risk it. Nice. If he banned the Kaja and his Yumiko was faster than me, I would have lost. Got a sub and like because you're the best? Thank you. Oh, interesting. His his nukers are in stone skin. Have you seen Doc Moreau's Queen Eva? She can one-shot Hirima through Stone Skin. She's the strongest champion right now since her buff. I have a hard time believing that. Like, I can't imagine that being true on anything but, like, the most complete garbage builds. true show me show me a, a harima that isn't dog shit that you can one shot through stone skin i kind of want to avoid reviving the ronda right here Uh, just in case he manages to get the block revive off. Actually, you know, whatever. We locked out. This Queen Eva is really strong. I don't care how strong any champion is. We're talking about Stone Skin Harima. If you told me it could one-shot a Harima that's not in stone skin, I would believe you. This is something you can figure out with math. You could, you could calculate the max hit of a Queen Eva. I kind of wish I had a queen even now, though. Jesus, she's got a seven multiplier on that nuke. That is wild. Um, I went second on that last fight. This guy might try and go first. Likes to run Taurus, Harima, Taurus and Harima. Um...
Either way, I hope they keep buffing random champions with insane damage. Well, it's hard to ever know how strong the Harima was. Yeah, I just, I mean, like maybe they forgot to, like maybe they took their gear off or they put it in a Hydra build or something and then changed it out or something. I don't know. There's no way. What's up, Mosin? Yo, chat. But in theory, you can figure it all out with math. Okay, so we've got this Lazarius here. Um, We're gonna walk watch Doc Moreau. Um Krusen. If you look up Krusen like that on YouTube. Oh, interesting. His Armands is not in stone skin. Do we even play this out? I feel like that's that's game. I could maybe try and play it out, but let's just go to another fight. There's like very low chance we win that. I think we could have maybe won that if we got the lock or if we got the kill or didn't get the polymorph though. So this guy likes to um, he likes to pick Tormund and ban my Kaja. He likes to pick Tormund and Hegemon and Taurus. He also likes to pick Siegfried. I kind of want to try and bait him into picking Siegfried and then going UDK. I really got to get this Narcy's build good. Build done. Build something. I. Oh no! I picked first and I didn't pick Armands. I'm a freaking moron. Oh my god. Oh, why did I do that? Ah, shit. All right, I'm not gonna count this one in the go first, go second, because I should have picked Armands. <sighs> or no, he picked. He picked first. And I just didn't pick Armands because I'm a dumb dumb. Either way, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put it in the spreadsheet. Um, okay, so what plays can I possibly make here? I think the play I have to make is Q 
kill. We ban the Rotos. That's weird. Why'd you ban the Rotos? matter what I do. sucks. I would have won that for sure because he wouldn't have been able to ban the Rotos. I mean, I guess he could have picked something else. It would have depended on what else he picked. He could have picked UDK or something. I still think we might have been okay, though. I don't know. It would have been tricky. I think we want to do this. Oh, actually, no, that's not going to work either. I think I have to do this. Narcy Sankora is surprisingly difficult to deal with. intervention on the Yumiko. I think the only way... Eh, we're kind of screwed, actually. Passive proc. Is there any play that really makes sense here? That's possible the Arbiter. Oh, oh, but the passive. <laughs> oh, man, that would have been funny. Uh, too bad. That was an interesting choice. 
Oh, nope. Oh, bummer. All right. Well, how did we end up finishing? 54. Man, I was up to like 65 or something at some point. My notes say I won 10 and lost 8. But I don't know about the two that I forgot to record. How about you here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, no wonder I feel bad because I just lost three in a row. Bummer. All right. Well... Time to go do some Marius missions. And we're going to put that on the side and I'm going to go play some BDO. sure I put in real um, 3v3 teams. Don't forget. Adrenal said GG. GG. Uh, let's see. What was most was he running? It was Narcy's, Wukong, Sifi, Yumiko, and in Quora. Let's go to my lab arena right now, guys, a monster. Nice. Yeah, I wonder, I'm curious how fast as Yumiko is. That oh, that's another reason I got to get out of divine life. That the um I keep saying timely intervention. The temporal chains, the temporal chains also screws over Kaja for being in divine life. That's true. If I put Arbiter in divine life, that's going to be a problem as well. Oh, why does my best speed gear have to be fucking divine speed? I've never bought divine speed in my life. The only reason I even have it is because I um, is because what am I trying to say? The reason I even have it is because I got it from one of those events. Like the card events. Okay, what do I need to do? Let's get some get some of these guys on the market. I really, really wish I could get some quads in regular speed. I don't mind the divine speed on the Warlord. Well, I mean, honestly, it's kind of a problem on the Warlord, too, because... The temporal chains. No, wait, he's in he's in stone skin, so his turn meter can't be pushed back. It does slow him down a little bit, but I'm okay with that. It's just It's crazy how bad having shields on your champions makes everything now. No way Queen Eva can kill Harima through Stone Skin? Yeah. I don't know what people are talking about, but that is like if that happened, it's cause someone like forgot to put a ring or like gear back on their harima that they took and put on another champion or something you know what i mean like there's no way a well-built harima is dying to a queen eva in stone skin 
Um, oh, you know what? I need to go do Pit of Undying, so we can go do that right away. Where are you from? Like, in the world? I live in Portland, Oregon. Well, you know what? Actually, before I do this, I'm probably going to want to run... Have I run... Oh, we did... Did we do Black... Black Shrine? Uh... No. Boss... Oh, wait, no. Weekly boss list left. That means... Yeah, that means I have done it. Okay, cool. We're good. Oh, you know what? Let me put my real defenses in. Sees. Mm. The thing I asked him about to say good morning happened to be on the other side of the planet. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's almost no, it's seven o'clock where I am. All right, where are you at, Uko? There you are. Wither. Come on. Can I find my champions? There she is. My Mario's mission, 14 is Sand Devil, 10 times on auto. So let's go do that. Nope, I need to do pen. I'm not sure which rotation we have today. How would you build Fronly in case you got him? Um, well, you probably want to build him in one turn stone skin, at least, if you can, and still get him in lethal and savage. I mean, you just build him for damage. 
Boom, lethal, savage. And I'd put him in one turn stone skin just because it's not, he's a mythical and you can use him against lockout. He's not the worst champion to have um, like reaction accessories and stuff on, or not reaction, um, retaliation accessories and stuff on. This A1 hits pretty hard, but yeah, I'm not really sure how to use Frolney, to be honest. He's not a very good mythical. I mean, all the mythicals are okay, but I mean, they're at least okay, if not amazing, but he's one of the worst. Seeing some endgame frolnies with high HP be really good, keeping your team alive with his ally protect. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen people do that as well. Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of like when you would ever want to actually like bring him in. Like, what what would he counter? So we got the Ascendra rotation. Alrighty. Gotta go by. Have a good night. All right, Nathan, we'll see you later. Have a good one. Oh, wow, that actually worked. I didn't think... I thought I knocked her down way too late, but apparently... It's just barely enough time. I kind of hate how they uh, changed my down some macabre to go through mobs. It's actually kind of annoying. Did that work too? Oh, it did. Hell yeah. How Reblath enhancement changed? Um, well, for one thing, we're probably not going to use Reblath anymore, but that's not because of the pity. That's because of the Blackstone merger. So it's Militia enhancing now, unless they change Reblath to Devour for more. Um, other than that, it made stacking a little bit more efficient. Enhancing sucks, to be honest. It's still bad. Like, it's still really bad. Especially, like, pen accessories. Like, holy crap. I pick Armand's. I hate him. He's not like the monkey. I always choose Arbiter, Crixia, and Galathir. Ooh, lucky to have Galathir. Arbiter, Crixia, and Galathir. How, um... How do you avoid people? Well, I guess, yeah, I guess when you have fucking Galathir, people can't ban your Arbiter, can they?
You should have Armand's, though. I would pick Armand's over Crixia. Armand's a lot better than Crixia. Struggling how to use him. He's not getting any PvE content where a lot of Legos dominate already. I wish got Aethys instead. People were played the worst, but at least he's good in Hydra, you know? Yeah, I can hear that. It's like, you may not be good in PvP, but for only he's not really good anywhere. I'm still a little bummed about Androk. Like, I don't hate him, and he's definitely useful in Hydra, but... Man, it would have been nice to get, like, a Galathir or a... Crixia or, you know, one of the other OP mythicals. Watching the video at the beginning where you're all talking about picking Armands. Mm. Yeah, I would pick Armands over Crixia. If I'm being totally honest. I might pick both, but I would definitely pick Armand's before Crixia. Especially because... Well, I don't know. The fact that you're picking Arbiter tells me you want to pick Go first. And neither Crixia nor... Galathir have a speed aura in Arena. So someone can... A, they can pick Armand's and you're going to have to ban it. Or B, they can do things like lock you out. And Feeble is a good counter for Armand's turn meter pushback. Uh, I mean, kind of, but if you get to Enfeeble in Armand's, you could have just killed it. If you're putting in Feeble on Armands, that's use that means you're using Androk on an Armands that's not in Stone Skin. Which could have just had a nuker and killed it. Oh, that was the last boss. What am I doing? Sitting here waiting for bosses to spawn. Didn't they fix Enfeeble on bosses? No, they said they were going to, but they haven't put it in the game yet. Although it's a little hit or miss because it still works in Hydra, but it doesn't work on some of the bosses in Centronos. So I'm I'm not sure. Unless they tend to leave it on Hydra. I mean, they could. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world if they left it on Hydra. Because Hydra has like cleanse and stuff, so it's not like completely OP in Hydra. It's still really good in Hydra, don't get me wrong, but you know. Although to be fair, I, it's not like Enfeeble is particularly strong in the rest of the content in the game anyway. Like everyone's like, oh, Enfeeble is so good because it, it lets you, you know, you put it on bosses and you completely shut down the bosses and it's like, yeah, except for all the bosses in the game are not... I mean, they're easy at endgame. You know what I mean? Like, it's there's no bosses that I'm like, oh, I can't get through this without Enfeeble. It's like I wouldn't bring Enfeeble to any dungeon boss. 
The only thing it's really useful for is Centranos, and it hasn't been working on those bosses, so... I don't know. I get what, it would help, like, early game players if they get an Androck, but... You have to finish all of the dungeons in hard mode, like hard 10 to even get uh, Marius, so. What's up, Oscoogee? What do I want to work on right now? Dude, look at these ogre rings are 38 billion. They just completely eviscerated the entire enhancing market. Long time no see. Welcome back. New hammer fucked up markets. Um, it's not the hammer, actually. It, it's, well, okay, it's partly the hammer. The hammer's only one thing. They've been hammering the markets with like a million different things. So they added Jatina for a second ring. So that fucked the markets, both by making Blackstones more expensive and also making rings less valuable. And then they added, they buffed the drop rates of all the Debareka accessories. So that did a huge number on it. Then they released the hammers to really push people to go to Pendebo instead of other accessories. And then they released the pity system to crash, and that crashed the price even further. So it's accessories have just been getting it from all angles. These aren't even worth going to 40 for the duos anymore. Seems like profit enhancing is getting hit hard. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of dead. I might just go back to it because I'm bored. Um, and we're not really like waiting for anything at this point now that the pity system's in the game, but it's pretty dead. It's also annoying that we have to use militia now. I don't know what I'm gonna even use my pen accessories stacks for either. That's like kind of a problem as well. Maybe I should look at Fallen Gods. I guess I could just dump them on Fallen Gods. Oh, that one. That was a free one, wasn't it? That was a pity. What do you mean pity so they added a new pity system into the game on wednesday where if you fail a certain number of times on an excess or on an item it, the next attempt is guaranteed to go up and won't use a fail stack or anything so for these duo accessories if i fail you can see it right up here this little number if i fail six times and then or if i fail five times six times the next one is guaranteed
It's a brand new system, just came out in the last patch. Although it was announced a little while ago. How much pity to say Penn Blackstar? Uh, 40, I think. What the hell? They made the pity one in... Oh, wait, one in... Oh, whoops, what am I doing? Oh, that... What's the pity? 20 for plus 15. I thought it was five for a second. Oh, I just realized this is going to make enhancing a little awkward because you're going to get. Um... We're going to have to save stacks or make sure we don't like tap away too many prize. Twenty for pen yellow accessories, fifty for wailing falling god. Or you're right, it is forty for Black Star, isn't it? For Pen Black Star. It's fifty for Godder. It's nice that the pity doesn't consume your stacks. At least it didn't in Global Labs. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Dude, if it consumed your stack, that would be... I mean, it wouldn't really make any sense for it to consume your stack because it's a guaranteed to go. So wouldn't you would just put in a zero stack and click on it. Why Militia not Reblath? Because it devours for more fail stacks at pen. And they both use the same resources now that they merged Blackstones and Weapons. but also PA, yeah. See the last tap before the pity eating your fail stack or something stupid? So the devour value, uh, you get 80 stacks, or I guess it's 75 plus five for Rulipi for me. So it's an 80 for me. Oh my God, the pity is gonna make coming down here to cleanse all the time so annoying. I mean, it was already annoying, but they really need to fix it and make Militia and Reblat Devour for the same amount. There's almost a meta, though. If you're close to Pity, to swap to a lower stack so you don't burn a larger stack on some things, at least for non-for-profit non players. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, kind of. This, that would be for like weapons and armor, not for accessories. But like if you're going for a pen black star or something, it doesn't really matter for most things. Well, actually, I guess. 
Oh shoot, hold on. Gotta unplug my mic. Mike stand came unplugged. Uh, how many times does it require for a, a fallen to go through? A uh, thousand for a pen fallen gun. But yeah, like you could say, you know, if you're one click away and you have a 240 stack, you could, I could definitely see it just being like, oh, screw it. I'm just going to go throw away a click on, you know, something really low, like a 110 stack or something. Because, well, I don't know. I guess it depends. There, there'd be some math there. Depends on how much the click costs relative to the value of the stack. But if you got an item that's relatively cheap to click for each individual click and the stacks are is really expensive, then I could see, you know, just being like, screw it. Like definitely for a pen fallen god, you know, if you're like at a thousand stacks and you're not that far away. From the pity. You could just be like, screw it, I'm gonna save this stack to start fresh and go click from scratch on or not from scratch, but click on a lower stack. Pen accessory fire sale. Yeah, dude. Have you seen some of these things? Ogres at like 38 bill or some shit. To make a loft during these enhancement sessions you do, you just look like you hack the fuck out of these systems. Uh, no, I made most of my money in the game from enhancing. But these days, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how the money from enhancing compares to like other things I could be doing. I just don't really like doing anything else and I don't really need money that much. So I think I might just go back to enhancing and just be like, screw it, even if it's not that much profit. I mean, it's still profitable. It's just like not really worth the time, but I enjoy it. So I don't know.
How can I start out and be a Chad like you? I'm 630 gear score. Timmy, build a time machine. Uh, you're definitely not going to be able to get rich doing what I did to get rich. You're going to have to go do something different. Um, Let's see. I want to go to 48. No, I want to go to 47. Grinding is easily two to three bill an hour when you're 760 gear store. I know what you're doing. Two to three bill an hour? I don't know if I believe that. I believe probably like one and a half to two. I don't know if people are really making two to three these days. What does Garma say? More like 1.2 to 1.5, not two to bill. Not two bill to three bill. At a four bill hour. Yeah, I mean, one hour doesn't mean anything. Look at Garmoth numbers. Where are people grinding? What's the meta, meta grind spot these days? Crypt and Tungrad Ruins. Yeah, I don't think people are making three bill an hour at Crypt. I don't know anything about Tungrad Ruins. Never been there. Owens and Crypt, make your money for Ted Debo. Yeah. I mean, that's solid, but it's not three bill an hour. Cyclops and Thornwood. S'more. Point two to one point six max. The other annoying thing is that, like, all the big stuff is not really worth enhancing anymore. Like, pen accessories. So, like, even if I'm going to enhance for profit, it's going to be all, like, dinky shit. Shows Dark Seekers average trash is 14k or something when Gwen DS is doing 23.
Well, if there's one thing we know for sure in BDO is that grinders lie about how much money they make. Everyone lies. Grinders lie up and life schoolers lie down. What is going on with my microphone stand? So watching Quenda live, still lies. It's all lies. Oh yeah, I didn't win this. Okay, let's see. I don't have any like random accessories in the storages I need to deal with, do I? Oh man, look at all these. Probably lost a fortune on these. I don't even know how long these have been here. Jeez. A lot of random distos. Fahs and things. the Tongrad or the Debo earring market coming? Jeez, look at these things. That's so cheap. Damn, one of these sold yesterday. Debo earring ain't great and belts and neck right. Is that just because so many people want to grind Olins? Rotating. It's because the wrong thing was tightened. Or it's tightened it the wrong way. Ash's garbage crypt is too hard for half the player base, and Valencia is easy. Oh, Dekia Valencia? The drop rate at Dekia and uh, Aukman in history is trash, though. At least it's been in my experience. One per hour, definitely. One per six hours. I put like six or seven hours into Dekia Histria and haven't got shit. Maybe more than that at this point.
Are there any pen accessories in the game that don't lose money? God, not really. Debo. I mean, Debo is not good money at pen either. You want to sell Debo at Tet. Literally every pen accessory loses money. Not even counting the value of the fail stack. Just straight up. Has Salt Perma quit now? I don't know. I messaged him the other day. He didn't message me back. I mean, enhancing is pretty much dead, and that was the only thing he did in the game, so. Who type black tap black stars and fallen god? I mean, I'm legit considering possibly doing fallen god. It's kind of annoying. Because I have to swipe a lot of crons, but it might be worth it. How's the hammer market doing? Oh, there's more hammers than yesterday. They're going back up. I just don't know if you can actually make profit on this. 180. I need to check the math. Damn, tries are cheap. Or duos are cheap. Boots. Well, the problem with the boots is the bases are really hard to get. Although, still probably worth. If you're watching Raffles' birthday stream, Ted Devils is the printing money method right now. Ted Devils are great, yeah. The problem is, is that you can't get the bases. You have to grind them. Try Decky Ash if you want to handle slow, sweaty grind. Me? I'm good. Oh my god, it doesn't even want me to use a 40 stack for Tungrad necklaces. That is crazy. Seven Coke Zero? I need some of that. Actually, I might go get some of that. Dash is even sweaty. It's just torture. Mops to tap you with 600 DR because why? Oh my god, look at these things. Ice cold out of the can. Yeah, I'll be right back.
We're back. Bro, really gonna grab one? Yeah, I finished my other my other drink. Did I get asked Forest? I was there maybe, and I said I'll get base in like an hour. Did you get one? You got one pen, pen demo neck in a month? At regular ash or at decky ash? 18 minutes and you left and ran away. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I can blame you. Cheers. Yeah. You know what the thing I miss about enhancing the most is it's the best activity to do while I'm trying to airplane mode upgrade my gear and raid. Enhance while we enhance. <laughs> I have like a hundred pieces of gear at like plus 15 on my raid account. And it was so nice yesterday because I was like, shit, man, I need to finish this Marius mission to get the last milestone reward of an event before tomorrow, which meant I had to complete the whole artifact enhancement event. And I was able to do it with airplane mode enhancing in like an hour and a half. Because all I did was take all my 15s to 16. Crazy, you still do airplane mode? It takes so long. That's true, but that's how I get my good gear, man. That's how I can afford to roll up all my gear. Hour and a half? Yep. <laughs> I was up at like 3 a.m. Airplane mode enhancing all my gear. I step on so many Legos. It's fine. You just do it while you're watching StarCraft tournaments. Anybody watch that new Fallout show yet? I was going to maybe watch some of that tonight. I don't really know anything about it. But I have Amazon Prime. And it's on Prime Video, so I was like, oh, maybe I'll give that a shot. Saw the Fallout memes, though. Like, good memes or bad memes? I never really got, like, super into Fallout. Never even really played much of it, to be honest. Speaking of StarCraft, apparently Chosen quit being a CC and got accused of viewbotting. Raid Chosen? I mean, I know he used to play StarCraft. He was pretty good, I think. I think he was, like, almost borderline professional. I don't know anything about viewbotting. I think he stopped playing StarCraft, like, a long-ass time ago. Is he even really doing much raid anymore? I feel like I don't see that many videos from him. Good, bad, depending on how you look at it, basically enhanced her backside, the girl on the cover of the show. Oh, I think I did see that. Thought his vids were great. He hasn't been around for a few weeks now. One of his last vids got 100K on StarCraft or on raid? Damn, that's that's good. One raid. Oh, you're saying he got accused of view botting on raid? Like recently? I thought you were talking about like StarCraft from like decades ago.
Oh, I see it now. Rage had a legend. Yeah, he's got like six comments and 113,000 views, which is like 10 times more than all his other ones. <laughs> That's interesting. I mean, I'm not gonna accuse him of anything. <laughs> but you're right. That is very fishy. <laughs> but it, it, I mean, it, sometimes people do that like maliciously. So just because it got view botted doesn't necessarily mean he view botted it. Like someone else could have view botted it to get the streamer in trouble. I know that's happened sometimes, but. Did he, did he quit though? Rumor is he wanted the last vid to have a lot of views before he quit being a CC, but he uploaded two more vids. Kind of strange. Totally could be someone else, and I'm blaming him. Just interesting. To see. Yeah, I mean, no, that's yeah, that's very, that's very, very fishy. HH made a vid saying he was done because he's on the Faithless team now. Didn't watch it though. Interesting. I feel like he was already stopping, like not stop, not like quitting, but he was already like making way less content before he joined Fateless. So maybe he's just like kind of transitioning out of it. Other person who I haven't seen making like hardly any content is Deadwood. Do we have a guaranteed pen? Oh, no wonder. I'm like, why does it keep doing? I should just hit this, right? Ah, bummer. That's actually kind of nice, though. I, I don't mind those guaranteed pens at all. Oh, I probably... Oh, you know what it was doing? It was probably counting previous attempts. I don't know. I don't know what dude's salary is like if you stop being a CC over it. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't think he stopped being a CC over Fateless. Free fail stacks, yeah. Deadwood and Murder Inc. Well, Murder Inc. like straight up quit. I fought this Murder YouTube guy a bunch of times today in Live Arena. And I don't know if that's Murder Inc. I don't know what his in-game name is. What's up, Travis? Thanks for the raid the other day. How are you doing, smart guy? I'm doing well, man. Doing well. Can't complain. My last interaction with Murder Inc. was telling him how good Razzlevarg was and he was shit talking Razzlevarg and saying he was going to be trash that it wasn't worth going for the fusion and I was like nah man this is a great champion you're wrong he's like you don't know shit Arr. yes I do <laughs> He's still in mad, but it could be someone playing it. Oh yeah, I'm sure he's not playing it. Surprised I didn't change the name though. Chosen was a full-time contract creator for years. He said he didn't do a day job, so I guess he just been well compensated by Fateless. Maybe. But like I said, he was making way less. I think he does more than just like content. I think he probably does some sort of like management 
stuff, kind of like Ash. Like Ash has a whole like business doing. Promotions and things with content creators. I'm like most of those guys with people move on and whatnot. Yeah. No, nope, for sure. I met um, Chosen at TwitchCon two years ago. He's a nice guy. Probably does marketing and e commerce on the side. Yeah. I thought he did good vids, so it was rough to see him go. Yeah, I liked a lot of his content for sure. Oh, sorry, I missed your comment, Drafty. What's the plan today? I don't know. I'm just kind of getting back into enhancing a little bit, messing around. I mean, everything sucks, but I don't want to do anything else. <laughs> The bases are cheap, so it's not like there's literally no money enhancing. There's no money in pens anymore, though. It's just like tets. Ah, uh, shoot. I need to burn this stack. Or not this stack. I need to burn these tets. I need to do some math on uh, Fallen Gods. I might have to just make Fallen Gods just literally to kill big stacks, like tet Fallen Gods. Just because there's literally nothing else to click stacks on that don't like lose money. As you went first in 3v3, but didn't land to block Actas and Armands. Yeah. Buying duo at min price and enhancing the Tet seems good. Yeah, exactly. That might be what I have to do just to burn stacks. The other nice thing is because they took crystals out of gear, it means I can just sell my own personal tets and then remake them over and over again instead of having to make them from scratch and just hope that they sell for what I paid. I can lie, I hate it when void Legos don't have 100% chance on the debuffs. They're so hard to get, and so that should be a given. 
I don't even... Which ones don't have 100% chance? Other than, like, A1s. Oh, you're talking about Hegemon. Yeah. They probably figured it would be too strong. Hegemon was, like, super... Uh, super good for a long time. He was, like, the meta. So they probably figured he was just... It would be too overpowered if it made it 100%. <laughs> What's up, Villanix? Villanix? Be a hot take, but I think A1 should be 100% as well. I think if you were going to make A1s 100%, you'd have to really limit them because some of them would be way too strong. Depends on what the debuff is. Like, there's a huge difference between landing, you know... Decrease crit damage and stun. <laughs> For into the pen accessory price drop, yeah. She's an A one is good, but not high enough chance. What is her chance on A one? I don't even remember. Debo took over everything. Yeah, pretty much everyone switched to Debos, and then with the hammers and the pity and everything else, everyone's just slamming all their Debos to pen, which means they all have these extra pens to sell. It's 50%. Mm. So, like, ogres are literally, like, 35 bill for pen. It's crazy. Grinding and enhancing Debos. Yeah, I don't blame you. It's pretty good. Pity system gives you a target. Yeah, I think the pity system is probably good for the game overall, for sure. hope at the end of the tunnel. I haven't seen Pendistos this low since 2019. Dude, what are they going for? <laughs> Holy shit! This is pre-price cap. You're right. It hasn't been this low since 2019. Actually, when did they raise the cap? I feel like when I bought one, it was it was later than 2019. I bought one in like 2021 or 2020 for like 55 bill. Vilnix, the three-month Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, we can't click any pen accessories because they're all trash, so we turn that off. <laughs> Sorry. But I appreciate the support. Now, someone who paid 135 bill a few days ago. Ooh. Imagine buying a pen accessory right before the pity system came out. It was 2021 they raised it. It was just max of 60 or 82. Oh, I need to burn Black Star.
Need Black Star main hands to drop. Heard someone talking on Max Street about buying a pen Omni for like 140 bill a couple of days before Hammer. Ooh, that's brutal. That is brutal. Okay, if we do this one 14 times, is that right? Yeah, 14 times. So we're gonna do 14 black stars and three reblath, chat. 14 black stars and three reblath. If one of them goes tet, counts as success, or if one of the reblasts goes pen, counts as success. Managed to make a pen black star awakening with 15K crons two days ago. Nice. Five seconds. 14 Black Star, three Reblath. All right, that's a close. 100% in favor of success. Here we go. One. Uh, where'd they all go? Two. Ooh, easy, Ted. All right, success is you win. Good job. Uh, I kind of need to burn another one, so I'm just going to do it. Three. No bet on this one. Oof, that's not what we wanted. Well, that would be a pen accessory stack, and in another world, we would have been excited about it, but in today's world, we're not, because those stacks are difficult to work with. There's nothing we can click on that's any good. Once they say the release date for Debo Rings, Omni will drop more. Probably, yeah. You're at the point where you're looking for pen accessories for upgrades. Oh, when do you think it's worth buying pen accessories? Do you think they will continue to fall in price? Um, No, I don't think they're going to go a lot cheaper than they are right now. I could be wrong, though, because I've been saying that for a while, and then they keep getting cheaper because they keep adding new shit to the game that causes the price to crash even more. But I don't know of any new shit that's going to come out and crash the price, and they're already really cheap because everyone's dumping them. Thanks to the fact that they just got... Actually, you know what? Let's move this stack over here. Um, that they just got Pity. Which allowed them to make their debos and things. And replace their old accessories. So I think this is probably the lowest they're going to get over the next... You know, like currently and then over the next week or so. But you said earlier enhancing pen accessories to trash is better than enhanced debo accessories. Well, enhancing debo accessories is great, but you, you have to grind to get the bases. Because the bases are sold out dude someday pen debos might be in the cards man we're not that far away from a world where making pen debo earrings to sell is actually shit. I need to take my pre-order off. I should just buy these and tap it.
I wish there was something that didn't suck as much as Dekia Ash to get these bases. And don't tell me Olin's because I don't want to go group grind. Raven Mars has sold four Debo belts this month. That doesn't really make any sense. That's that's kind of dumb. It's way better to sell Tets. The Tets are still way too high to justify selling pens. Unless, are they on EU? You did your spider yet? You're skipping everything that has to do with the Titan event. I just did it for the mortal coins. Um, I did not do spider, no. Let me look. I'm pretty much just skipping everything. He's an NA? Yeah, there's no reason to sell pet a pen. 500 mortal coins? Nah, I don't, I don't know. I need to spend all my energy trying to finish these Marius missions. You're doing most things with skipping summon rush. I just need to get too much stuff done. So I'd have to buy energy to do the events. And I just don't want to. Gotta do champ training for the Lego. Wait, is there a champ training? Oh, shoot. Forgot we're doing militias. God, I do that all the time. What point is better to buy a devil earring over grinding for it? I mean, grinding for it is always better. I just don't want to grind. Starts tomorrow. I see. Black Star weapon price will drop after they release Fallen God. Well, if you need a Black Star to get a Fallen God, it might not drop. Which you probably will. But it depends on whether they let us use C10 boss gear. Is that what they said? No, but that's how all the other Fallen God works, so it's not unreasonable to assume it would work similarly. Oh, they'd be like C10? No, there's zero chance they're going to let you use C10 boss gear. They might let you use C20 boss weapons, but I don't think there's. I don't think they're going to let you use C10. That would be kind of nuts. Do you need to do some more mastery so I could possibly skip more? Yeah, I need to farm masteries too. Um, all right, chat. I need to get out of here. C10 Zarka isn't Pen Black Star. Yeah, C10 Zarka is C20 Zarka is equivalent to Pen Black Star. Let's see, who should we go raid today? Go raid in the Silas. Uh, the reason PA is pushing more stuff lately is push pizza to reach 700 gears corner, push more content. C10 armor is equal to pen black star armor. Yeah, the cost of C10 armor is a lot closer to black star than pen black star is to C10 weapons. Um, but either way, Black Star Armor is its own like separate thing that was just there to sell Cron Stones when Kafras were sold out. It's not like a real gear. All right, uh, I'm gonna go raid Masilus. You guys don't know Masilus? He's an OG. 
video streamer, plays Sork. Not sure what he's up to today, but you can go say hi to him. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. Let's see, today is Friday. I'll probably be back online tomorrow. From Discord, YouTube, Raid Shadow Legends YouTube. Links are all in chats. And I think that's it. Let's go raid with Silas. Make sure I spell his name correctly. I haven't seen Vert online in a while either. I wonder where he's been. All right, here we go. Peace.